is up everybody this is ESO here with a tutorial on how to get CSGO skins completely free 100% guaranteed um, well maybe not guaranteed it depends on your luck I guess <laughs> but anyway what you want to do is you want to go to Google Chrome you want to go to a website called csgoprices.com uh, now the reason uh, you have to use Google Chrome is because this um, I guess exploit um, if you want to call it that um, requires Google Chrome extensions. So uh, it might work on Firefox if you can get certain um, add-ons or whatever they're called for Firefox um, that are similar to the ones I use here. But um, for the purposes of this tutorial video, I'm going to be using Google Chrome because that's what I'm familiar with and that's how I figured this out. Um, so you're, the way this works is you can get any skin here that people like this guy from Leo DPS. This guy's put on a bunch of stuff um, for giveaway, so he's giving it away, and it tells you the value of how much it costs. And you know the way this works is you put in tickets, and you know once the ticket status has reached you know 54,000 tickets for this one, so once this reaches uh, 54,000 tickets put in, and which means this progress bar will get filled up to 100%. A winner will be chosen based upon how many tickets they put in, and you know they'll win the skin. It's that simple. Um, but the way you get uh, tickets are um, you hit this get ticket thing, and it'll take you to a video which you'll have to watch for 120 seconds. It is an ad. Um, you cannot have it blocked using an ad blocker. It will not work. You have to actually sit there and have the ad running for 120 seconds. And then once the, the timer reaches zero, you will get three tickets. So for every two minutes that goes by, you'll get three tickets. But there's a catch. You have to refresh the page every time it reaches zero. Otherwise, it'll just sit there. So if you're thinking, oh, I'll just leave it open. Well, that's what you used to be able to do. But the makers of this website, they fixed it, so you have to actually be active. Except they didn't account for one thing. People on the Internet. That's just it's pretty, that's, it's, that's that simple. People on the Internet are clever bastards. Um, yes we are and you people watching this at home know it so the way this is gonna work is this whole exploit you're gonna go to settings I'm gonna go to extensions and you're gonna get get more extensions okay um, you should know that if you're familiar with Google Chrome at all anyway um, the extensions you're gonna want are easy auto refresh you can see I have other ones here I was just messing around with but this is the one I decided to go with because the one I like the most um, this one will, it does exactly as it says here. So we'll refresh your browser um, tab, just your individual tab, after a certain amount of set, uh, seconds that you set. And, and the other thing you want is flash control. Flash control um, makes it so that uh, flash will not load on a page unless you want it to load. And it looks something like this. So here's the page. You can see it just kind of started. Whoops. Yep. It will load um, in our tab of ads or whatever so I'll just give a pop-up it's not malicious or anything you won't have any adware download on your on your um, computer so don't worry about that um, but normally there's an ad here um, the way to click it if you click it it'll load flash content like it says here um, so I just leave this go so that way nothing loads it's kind of like my way around the whole ad block thing because you can see here I have uh, ad block I have it whitelisted here or enabled on this page and there's an ad. My Nobody cares. Um, my name is Baldy McBald Bald. Um, anyway, it's, it's pretty much that simple. Once this reaches the, the end, um, I have this set for 125 seconds so it has a 5 second buffer time because I didn't want to set it for 120 um, you know, lest it's short by 1 second so by the time this reaches 1 second it refreshes and you don't get any tickets this pisses me off. Um, tangents. Yeah, but by the time this reaches zero, it will refresh. Okay, and you'll see that I'll have I'll go from 101 tickets to 104 tickets. So I'm just gonna fill the rest of these eight seconds with some nonsense, and um, by the time this reaches zero, you're gonna see what I said will come true. In about one zero. There you go, four seconds. Boom, done. Damn it. See, it works. And that's that's all there is to it, guys. It's that simple. And once you you know have enough tickets, 
um, you know, you can use it to bet on stuff. So I've been keeping my eye on this. I've been on this several times. So I'll just bet another 10 tickets here. Done. The tickets have been bet. It's that simple. Done. And, you know, once this uh, reaches 100%, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll be chosen for the stat track M4A4 Dragon King Minimal Wear. The dream is alive, folks. But anyway, if you like this video and you found it um, helpful at all, um, and you want to see more from me, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I will greatly appreciate it. That will just tell me that you like this video and you want more. You can also find me on Twitter. You know, you can follow me here, um, get updates on some things I'm doing. Uh, you know, you can see music I'm into and stuff like that. Um, you can also follow me on Twitch. Um, you, I'm just getting started here, so I don't really have a lot of followers. But you can follow me here on Twitch, and you can, you know, see all the games I'm playing. We can interact with each other live, which is really cool. You know, I'm, I stream games like CS:GO, um, Minecraft, Gary's Mod. Um, Arma 2, all types of crap. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, will see you in the next one.